Hello, welcome to another video. In this uh, week's video, I'm going to talk about managing a hectic schedule. Now, as a small business owner, the journey can be pretty crazy. It doesn't matter what you're doing, some kind of tech startup or a vegan burger joint, whatever it is, it falls on you a lot of the time to do a lot, if not everything. Um, your schedule can therefore get pretty crowded to say the least and all those kind of time consuming tasks, the chores, the admin, etc. that you maybe never imagined suddenly are your responsibility. So how do we manage a schedule that seems inclined simply to become more and more hectic? Well, here are a few tips, starting with number one, have a plan and experiment with planning. As a kind of risk averse, pessimistic sort of human, uh, I like to plan and over time the way I do it has actually changed. I've gone through writing journals, creating a weekly schedule, um, creating a more prescriptive monthly schedule, short to-do list, long to-do list, whatever kind of works. I've now sort of settled upon the daily to-do list again um, and weekly to-do list rather um, but also kind of mixed with some other things. My wife has also recently shown me something called Momentum, which is a, pl a browser plugin, which kind of helps also in terms of prioritizing and, and making sure you're checking off the things you need to do. There's no right and wrong way of doing it. Um, it has to be whatever works for you. So um, make sure you sort of maybe sort of experiment with different things and you'll find a way. You'll also find it just evolves. Maybe it changes from the time of year. If I'm not doing the school run, my kind of schedule actually looks a little bit different and I plan a little bit differently. But again, these are all things that you kind of uh, can work out for yourself. Um, one key thing, point two, create time blocks. Um, once you have a plan, sticking to it is much easier if you work in time blocks. It takes discipline to kind of stick to a fixed schedule and prevent kind of distractions and so on and so forth. So I think sort of time blocking is a very good way of doing it. Now, I've actually evolved a bit away from it, but the bottom line is if you kind of start to implement time blocks in almost any way, you're going to reap the benefits in terms of increased productivity and also increased focus. Unscheduled communication can be really kind of time sapping and energy sapping as well. So you have to be disciplined and kind of stick to your time blocks to get stuff done. My experience, again, doesn't have to be too prescriptive, although you may want to start with a kind of clear schedule for a whole week and then find a balance. For example, I've used the same kind of time blocks for quite some time in terms of email planning, creative sort of tasks, business A, sales, business B, admin and so on. Um, but actually now I use a much more kind of fluid system and, and I tend to block certain times during the day based upon my to-do list just to ensure I get stuff done. Um, good tip though, make sure you add in some buffer time in between blocks to reset and recharge, which leads me on to the third point, which is work in sprints. Again, this is directly related to the previous one. What I'm trying to focus on here is the necessity to kind of go full speed uh, on something and then step away, take a break. The workday should not be a marathon, but a series of kind of sprints to ensure that you focus fully and, and you recover as well to go again on to the next thing. It can be hard, as I said before, to maintain energy levels through the working day, especially when switching from one type of work to another. So stepping away can be very important. Something which is particularly um, evident in our kind of business, especially with kind of virtual assistants, perhaps working for, uh, with a client on one kind of job, then having to switch to something completely different, different sector, different type of work, different type of sort of energy required. So having that little sort of buffer time, I think, is really uh, Im important as well. Um, I like to take a break from technology for a few minutes between sort of time blocks. Uh, it could be as simple as running an errand and taking a short walk, whatever it is, does it again, you know, um, whatever kind of works. Um, one of the great benefits of working in sprints is that you are essentially looking to limit work in progress, which is directly linked to the next point, number four, which is using the right tools to streamline your operations, to streamline your work. It doesn't just work for the Japanese assembly lines, uh, but it can work for you and your business. Um, you can find a number of tools to help you kind of plan, prioritize and kind of keep track of what you're doing and manage communications. Um, some that we use, for example, Asana, Trello, uh, Slack, typically used by kind of clients of ours and we use also internally. And um, there are other things like Jira and Basecamp, which may be, you know, a bit more sort of advanced, larger projects, larger teams, more, more sort of a bit more involved. Um, but if you also have a database of clients, then making sure you're working with the CRM tool 
HubSpot is one example, can help you to kind of streamline processes, segment them and manage communications, for example, with clients all in one place. Um, things like online scheduling software, Calendly, for example, that can automate uh, appointment setting um, and avoid a sort of time wasting back and forth of emails, which is often a pain and sapping. When it comes to finance and accounting, obviously, um, you know, there are lots out there. We currently use QuickBooks, but it could be FreshBooks, Zero, and, and a host of others. Um, and of course, whatever kind of sector you're in, or perhaps you do things kind of differently, then, you know, there'll be other things that you can use as well. I'll be very interested to hear them, so drop them in the comments. Um, now, on top of all this, you really want to make a huge impact on your hectic schedule. There is one thing you can do. Some of you have guessed it already, and it is point number five, delegate. Now, I would say that, wouldn't I? Yes, I would, because I want you to use our business. However, <laughs> you know you can't do everything, right? Bootstrapping is cool. In order to get your business to grow, uh, you are going to have to pass on knowledge and let go. You'll need to spend more time working on your business and less time in your business. I recently read an article from 2016, I think it was, in which business owners discuss what uh, they would like to be doing within their business rather than what they are doing. And I think it's safe to say that sales and business development, product development and planning and those kind of things came out really high. And I think that's probably because that's maybe where they originate, you know, the business kind of owner, the idea, um, wanting to sort of focus on the product and, and, and selling it. Um, and then, of course, in fact, so much time is taken up by the admin, um, uh, the sort of support side of things, perhaps the marketing or certainly maintaining a, a sort of coherent presence on social media is a big thing um, and does take up a lot of time. Um, along with much of the day to day, though, these things can actually be delegated. Now, I know it can be daunting for business owners. So the best thing is to do start slowly, delegate a little bit, work your way into it, and you will find uh, that it isn't actually as scary as it sounds. And more importantly, of course, delegation is the one thing that allows your business to grow and then to scale and to sort of keep going on that growth trajectory that you are seeking. Right, that's it. That's the end of these tips. Uh, there'll be a few more links to other articles, links to some of the tools I mentioned as well in the blog post related to this video. If you have any comments, then I would love to hear them. So please feel free to let me know what you think and what you do to manage a hectic schedule.